What's good? What's good, people? It's your boy Mick. And this is Jaron. What's good, people? And together we bring you the Puff a Minute once again, y'all. So today, man, we're going to chill out here, man. We're puffing on these Maximus, uh, this Diamond Crown Maximus, a very rare, very, uh, very fine, uh, you know, full body cigar. If you want to catch the full review that Puff a Minute put out on this one, make sure you go back and find that 10 minute review um, that we do weekly now. It's usually posted on Tuesdays. Right? Yeah. And with that, man, today, man, it's holiday season, yes? It is. It okay, is. so what we pairing with? Yeah, so today we're going with that nice high ride whiskey, wild turkey 101. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a classic, man, but yeah, definitely yeah. goes well with our Maduro cigars, but exactly. for you, this is a tradition, right? Yeah, it is, man. For me, uh, yeah, every Thanksgiving, man, I crack open a bottle of wild turkey, man. You know, I had a boss, man, when I lived in Georgia, that was his, his tradition. He kind of got me started okay. on it. So, yeah, that's what I always go to on. That's probably the only time of year I grab one, but, yeah, it's a tradition. So, yeah, you know. classy drink, but, yeah, it's definitely a special occasion. So. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro, it's, uh, it's always a pleasure, man. We out here on the balcony today. Yeah, you change know what the saying? scenery. Change the scenery up a little <laughs> bit. You know, it's beautiful to be the Thanksgiving, you know, holiday season. It is. Right here in Las Vegas, man, because, again, sunshine is in your face. You know what I'm saying? And uh, everything is all good, man, so. You know, what's did good? You, with, did you get your 32 inch for a hundred dollars at Walmart? No, I did not get my 32 inch. <laughs> hey man, you know, I seen a friend of mine put up a, who got a, a, a history in retail, and she was like, "Yo, all y'all knocking yourselves out in line for these doorbuster prices, it's gonna be the same amount next week." Exactly. You might well just go ahead and chill and, relax, and just relax, y'all. It ain't that serious, yeah. you know. But nah, man. Yeah, I, I got a little bit of Christmas shopping in, man. Yeah. But you know, I'm at that stage now. But the only person I'm thinking about. Is my grandbaby man? Yeah, so, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying. He the only one that Mexican I'm stressing. Everything right it's now. all about Mason, y'all. If you ain't know, now you know. It's all about Mason. This Definitely, year, you know. But we had a good celebration the other night. Did man? Yeah, Over yeah. at your spot, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Again, welcome to the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? We yeah. we round the corner now. Round the corner now. <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, man. Jerry, man, he had the uh, the fly friendsgiving on uh, what was that was. Friday night? Wednesday. Or? Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday on Wednesday night. night. Yeah, on Wednesday night, you had the fly on Friendsgiving over, man. Lots of good people. Lots of good food. Yeah. Uh, good cigars, you know what I'm saying? And some good parents as well, man. So absolutely. it's all about friends and family. Yeah, absolutely. Know? Hey, <coughs> I do a mean barbecue turkey. This boy right here. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> this kid right barbecue here. Barbecue turkey, not smoke barbecue. He do it's his thing, difference. yo. He do his thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, nah, we had a good time. I was glad to have everybody over. You know, definitely the holidays is an opportunity for us to get together, yeah. uh, bring all the people together you may not see as often as you like to, true, true. Um, and come together and really uh, break bread with one another and enjoy each other's company. You know, um, it's really starting to hit home for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the more age and wisdom that I get, mm -hmm. you know, the holidays, man, is really, it's, it's all about family. Yeah. And, you know, friends and family, but I'm just saying, it's like when I think back, on the best holidays in my lifetime. I spent a lot of time reflecting this year. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? About grandma's bread pudding and mom just throwing down on mm -hmm. everything. You know what I'm saying? And my sister-in-law's, um, you know, potato salad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just whatever. All of these people are no longer with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But those memories, man, you know, they just carry me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. and I wonder what my kids think about when they think about the holiday seasons, like what stands out for them as well. Yeah. But uh, really, man, for me, you know, it's really because tomorrow's not promised, Jay. No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? No, it's, it's, it's not, not promised, man. Um, recently, in the news, yeah. we heard about, um, you know, what happened with Kim Porter. Yeah. You know, sudden passing. Uh, that was Kim really, Porter, yeah, very sudden. Very sudden, yeah. unexpected. You know, and uh, because, you know, I do have some inner uh, interactings with Al B here in, in okay. Vegas and stuff right, like right, that. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's a resident here in Las Vegas and stuff like that. So, um, you know, and, and, you know, sometimes we'll have conversations, you know, about the kids and, and stuff like that. And, and Kim will come into the conversation. And I know that, um, you know, that this has got to be hitting him hard as yeah. well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, but again, bro, this is this is just a crazy time, man. Um, like I said, my sister-in-law, very unexpected. Right. Here today, gone tomorrow. So I try to make it a point, man. I'm not trying to be too philosophical. Yeah, I yeah. try to make it a point every day now, man, to tell the people in my life, man, how what they mean to me. You yeah. know, how much they mean to me, bro. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Again, holiday seasons, man. I'm looking forward to Christmas. But again, man, my mom passed on Christmas morning. Yeah, yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? So again, holidays are, is bittersweet. I'm thankful for what we have, but I'm conscious and also thankful for what was and what is no longer here. Right. Follow me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But definitely make sure, uh, definitely put things in perspective and uh, what's important, uh, what's really going on in the world. And uh, what what we need to focus on more often, you know. Yeah. You and I have conversations a lot about my mom. And, you know, we don't always we aren't always on the best terms, but yeah. definitely an opportunity for us to see each other, have conversations, and sit down and talk. So I agree. Yeah, I agree, man. You know, um, something else I was thinking about too about the holidays, man, is uh, the holidays is a time where ninety five percent of America gains weight. Yeah. You know what I mean. You know, or something, man. It's just that oh, we've, we've accepted it. Like, yeah. it's acceptable now to say, hey, you know, it's Thanksgiving coming, then Christmas. I'm going to gain 5 to 10 pounds. Yeah. And then in January, I'm going to make a resolution that don't really mean nothing. Yeah. And I'm going to start trying to work on getting my beach body by June, mm -hmm. right? It's, it's just a pattern that we've gotten ourselves into. Um, I was challenged this week, right, um, to not just lose weight, but or like a total body transformation type of deal. So I'll put a little something out there, man. I encourage some people to join me in this thing, you know what I'm saying, and just reach out to me and DM. A few of y'all have hit me up already. And, you know, we got some accountability partners that's that's partnering with us in this thing. Um, but the bottom line is while everybody else is gaining weight, we are going to um, set out, you know, venture out to lose weight. Yeah. Right, over this period, man. So with everything else that's going on, man, so that means it's a commitment to exercise. It's a commitment to trying to eat clean, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's a commitment to, you know, and I told you before today that I was even going to step down from these pairings yeah. over this period of time because, again, you know, that's it, it puts weight on you, right? So um, y'all might see me pairing with coffee from here on out, man, but <laughs> since this is the Thanksgiving celebration episode, you know what I'm saying, I said let's go ahead and crack that wild yeah. turkey. One little know, bump. One, one little bump. bump won't hurt you, <laughs> you know. But, uh, but yeah, man, so that's, so that's what I'm committing to, you yeah. know, over this holiday period. Um, you know, because of family. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm thankful for the people who challenged me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it made me realize I need to do something, man. Yeah. Sometimes you lose sight of yourself. Yeah, but you're yeah. living a good life. And, uh, yeah. you know, and you don't hold yourself as accountable. Sometimes it's someone else may hold you accountable. But somebody else comes to you and say, hey, Daryl, you looking a little, yeah. little rounder there, brother. Man. It's like, you know, that, that hits you a little bit closer to home than you know, you seeing it just yourself every day. Man, I'm going to tell you what, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no shame in my game, but yeah. even, even though there should be. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I got on the scale, man, because I ain't seen the scale in a while, man. We, we see each other in passing. We don't really talk mm -hmm. much. You know what I'm saying? But I, I sat down. Well, I, you know, I, I stepped up to the scale and said, let's see what's going on. Yeah. But I stepped on that scale, bro, and I was like 131.7 LBs, baby. Yeah. And I'm sitting back like, I said 100. I meant 230. <laughs> yeah, 230, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, whoa, what's what's going on here? Yeah. But what really caught my eye was the body fat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, man, my body fat percentage is through the roof, bro. It's like 41%, bro. Yeah. I ain't never have 41% of body fat, man. So I already killer. know it's time to like, yo, you're right. That's oh. the killer, bro. That's yeah. the... You know, that's the heart attacks, that's the hypertension, that's the you know heart disease, all of that stuff that comes yeah. with it, right? Diabetes and all of that, man. So, bottom line is, I'm making a commitment for the next 30 days, right? To get on my game and get healthy again. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to join me, hit me in the DM. I'm not going to post it in Puff a minute, you know what I'm saying? So, you got to follow me over at Cigar Mick. That's Cigar underscore Mick, M-I-C-K. And that's what I'm going to post every day, right? Okay. Every day I'm going to post my... You know, you know my, my progress. You know what I'm saying? Good, bad, or ugly, y'all. Uh. So I just need support, man. So if you want to yeah. support your boy, help me out. <laughs> hey, something we yeah. talk about a lot too is mental health, right? Mm -hmm. I think people don't pay attention to uh, enough to how much stress really affects your weight as well. Oh man, that's so absolutely point. take some time yeah. as well, like you said, have some meditation. Yeah. That time where you kind of prepare yourself for the day, so that you can be a little bit more stress free. Um, lower that stress level because that also will make you retain weight as well That's good in point. areas you don't want to it because you're stressing about certain things. You get that belly stress and, yeah, yeah. and all that going on. So try to have those opportunities to relax. You know, weightlifting, running, yeah. some of those things can be straight stress relievers as well, right, right. but that may be temporary. Exactly. It's got to be an all-day continuous thing. Just take a moment, chill, enjoy the moment, really realize where, where we are That's in life uh, to not let that stress you out and put that weight on you as well. Exactly. 
Because I know you like, you know, you pretty much stay in the gym, bro. I stay in you the know? gym, but yeah. I know I stress a lot. Okay. And okay. I stress about a lot of different things. And I, I recognize that in my workout. Okay. And, and, you know, true bodybuilders will tell you, stress is horrible for you. Yeah, yeah. Not sleeping enough having too much stress in your life right you know being a real bodybuilder can be a selfish life but you don't want to get to that extreme but you do yeah. want to have a healthier lifestyle right? right but even to that respect you want to make sure you have somebody that's on your team to help you that that's understanding that you may not be eating food with as much salt or you know eating cleaner diets or not exactly. eating the, the sugars and the oils and all that kind of stuff exactly. and, and, and hopefully you get your family and your close significant ones on board right, it makes right. it easier for you to have that meal plan as well it does it makes it easier but it's not a requirement <laughs> no it's you know not what i'm saying so even if you don't have the people in your household that's gonna you know if they want to eat cake and cookies around you all day long man right. it's just gonna have to be you having yeah. that you know that that sustainability within yourself right. man you absolutely. know what i'm saying i'm not going there from my path yeah right? absolutely so, so yes that's what it is man so yo bro you know what i'm saying i feel like uh this has been some real good healthy cigars and conversation right there absolutely you we look forward there? to your progress yeah, you're gonna be bro. down 10 pounds next week yo bro I see, <laughs> see the mountain behind us bro i'm gonna look like they scoped me out yeah, of mount yeah. olympus <laughs> you know so that's what's going on oh. baby so yeah, yo, good man. Yo, thanks for joining us for another Cigars and Conversation. It's your guys from a pop a minute. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, it's been a pleasure. Hey, like I said, we smoking on this nice Maximus Diamond Crown. We're gonna enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Absolutely. We appreciate y'all joining us. It's been another episode. And you know that at a puff a minute, we are not just blowing smoke. Yes, sir. Peace and we'll holler at y'all next week. <laughs>